Hey, just when I was sipping my iced tea, I realized that I didn't show you in the last video that how we can debug. We also didn't show you that how to do a console log. So basically, this video is all about that. We'll be working on React Native. We'll see that how we can have a debugging session in case your app is not behaving the way you want it to behave. How we can open the developers menu or the devs menu and you can work with that. So in case you don't know, uh, welcome to this channel. My name is Atesh and I'm running a React Native series on this channel. I run a lot of series. This time it's React Native. My goal is to make you a mobile developer through this series with amazing portfolio apps, at least 10 of the apps. And a big shout out and thanks to our sponsor, Hashnode, for sponsoring this entire series so that you can have the highest quality video that is not available even in the paid courses of your favorite websites and learn it all here on YouTube. So let me walk you through. So this is the app that we built in the last video. You can do this for any app. There is no problem at all. I have run this app by the same command, React Native. So this is the command, npx React Native run Android. We have seen this uh, probably multiple times. There is no issue in that. And if you open this up, you'll see that there is a Metro Builder, which opens up like this. And it has a couple of options, reload, open developer menu, run on iOS, Android. So far, we have been pressing A and running it on Android, which is my real device, a real OnePlus that I'm using. So this is the real device that I'm using up here. And this time I'll be pressing D to open the developer menu. As soon as I do this, notice it says, hey, there's a lot of things that you can do. Uh, show inspect elements, stop debugging and whatnot. So I'll just say show inspect element. Now, as soon as I do this, I need to go on my browser and it will open up uh, onto the browser. Usually it opens up directly. So uh, I'll just click on inspect and you can see I'll click on this. Uh, not working. It takes sometimes a couple of options, so I'll just hit a D developer option. I'll say stop debugging and there we go. Now I need to reload the app. Sometimes in order to connect with debugger, it takes a lot of time. And sometimes you might have to hard refresh the app or something like that. And for that, just press shift and R to actually reload the app and the debugger is connected. And now we can reload the app just like this and it has reloaded. So it, ha it will happen to you a couple of times. Right click and now you can go on to inspect and click on the console. So notice here, it is running the app. I'll just move it up here. Now it is running the app. In the, in the code files, we have already gone through with some of these things. So let me show you that. We'll bring it up here again. And if you remember uh, where we were having this formic, we were running this console.log for values. So we want to see what values are actually coming in. So I'll bring this up here and we'll open up my browser just here. And let's go ahead and press that I want to have five. I would love to have this, this, and this also. I'll say generate password. And notice here, the thing that we were dumping, the values from the formic, this is what it says, formic. And if I open this up, notice here, the password length is in the string format of five. And you can choose any values. Now we want to convert this, type cast it as uh, numbers. You can do this pretty easily. So we can go ahead and work on with that. So this is exactly how you debug your applications. You can see everything in the console log, just like you do in your regular JavaScript application or React application, exactly same is supported here. There's a lot that you can caught on exceptions, the standalone version of React developer tools. There is a lot that you can run on with. But the most important thing that you should know about this is you can always press D to open up the developer menu and you can disable the fast refresh. You can have your performance monitor, uh, how your app is performing. You can enable the uh, sample profiling. There's a lot that you can do, but this is all you will be doing. This is the only thing that is available to you for the debugging purposes, which is more than enough for you. So now your assignment is really simple. You have to write a simple article on Hashnode about how to debug a React Native app. And surely it will get a lot of attention. Share it on Instagram, LinkedIn with me as well on Twitter and on Instagram and on LinkedIn as well. And uh, also in case you haven't joined it, join our Discord server. I'll give you a shout out there for if your article is amazing. There are goodies as well and uh, that's all. So let's go ahead and catch up in the next video.